so I just came back from Japan and I brought back something special, uh, something I'm gonna open with you today and discover and have a look and we're gonna test it by mixing some colors. I was just in Japan, I just came back and uh, I had a blast. Japan is absolutely amazing. It's a country that I have in my heart since I'm a kid and this is my first time visiting the country so I was absolutely amazed. Uh, and very very happy to be able to be there um, even though it was not an art related trip it was a family trip I still uh, was able to visit a few art supply store uh, I was very curious about uh, what they have in their art supply store and uh, I didn't have anything in mind when I was there I'm lucky enough to have everything I need where I live uh, so I was not uh, on the look for something special but before leaving I made a video uh, about palette knives and I mentioned uh, that I was uh, looking for a, a more premium palette knife than my standard palette knife that I have this is a very standard palette knife uh, watch my video please if you haven't watched it yet but yeah I mentioned I was looking for a palette knife that feels more premium since the palette knife is really uh, one of the main tool I use when I paint to mix my colors I had seen a palette knife from Holbein uh, when I was uh, looking for palette knives where I live where I live uh, but uh, this Holbein palette knife is a prem is definitely a premium palette knife uh, but the price here in the US is also premium since it's priced at around $70 seven zero seventy dollars so that's an expensive palette knife i always had an eye on this palette knife because i thought it was beautiful but it was just overpriced for me since i was in japan and i was visiting art supply stores uh, when i stumbled uh, into their palette knife i saw uh, an Holbein palette knife i mean i saw the whole series of uh, Holbein palette knife Holbein is a japanese manufacturer uh, they manufacture uh, paint, uh, they make paint, but they also make uh, palette knives and other supplies. Uh, so I was uh, very excited when I saw the Holbein palette knife installs. And uh, while well, I fell absolutely in love with it, and I was lucky enough that uh, the price in Japan was uh, completely affordable, uh, even though it's more expensive compared to the standard or regular palette knife that I usually use. Uh, this one is around five or six bucks. Uh, the Holbein palette knife uh, was uh, around $25 in Japan uh, with the, the currency change. Uh, so yes, it's more expensive, but it was affordable for me. So I was very excited to purchase one uh, palette knife, the main palette knife I want to mix my color with. Um, and of course, $25, uh, it's way more affordable than the $70 price range here in the US. And it was also a good occasion to bring back something from Japan and uh, have something that I use every day in my studio that makes me think of this beautiful country. So let's have a look, let's unbox this Holbein palette knife. So there we go. There is the knife. As you can see, uh, usually most of the knives, uh, even in the store, they are, they are sold like that. Just uh, uh, there's no box. Uh, here we can directly feel uh, the, the premium look because it comes uh, inside a box, uh, a plastic box, which when I open, I can take out the palette knife like that and directly here I feel uh, the little uh, the little stand uh, on which the palette knife rests and stay in place in the box uh, as velvet onto it so here this is a texture it's not uh, behind it's the regular cardstock but here they pasted a kind of a carpet feel a velvet feel it's uh, absolutely uh, directly amazing as soon as i open the box uh, this directly uh, gives a premium uh, feel to the knife uh, on their website they mentioned that their their knife are uh, made in seki i hope uh, i pronounce that good seki or sekai city uh, which was uh, or still is i don't know that um, the city where they uh, used to craft uh, sword, 
Japanese sword. So they use the same uh, stainless steel to uh, make the palette knife's blade than they use uh, to create their, their sword. So I think this is an amazing uh, story already. As you can see, the palette knife uh, has directly a uh, premium look. Uh, it's a very beautiful finish. Uh, the hardwood handles feels very uh, uh, soft, very smooth, I would say, very smooth. Um, the, the knife looks amazing. So let's remove it from the little case. There we go. So there is the knife. Yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. And as you can see, I mentioned in my previous video about palette knives, look at the neck. Apparently I learned that they call this a neck. Uh, we can see the difference even with this standard palette knife that I already said it was a good neck here. It was a good uh, depth for the, the blade. Please watch my video if you haven't seen it yet. But you can see that the old bind goes even deeper. So yeah the old bind has a deeper neck uh, the blade you can choose there is two type of uh, of blade there is a hard blade and soft blade so this is uh, regarding the flexibility of the knife i chose a soft uh, blade uh, and yeah the, the knife directly feels absolutely amazing in the hand so i don't know if that's gonna be the best uh, palette knife ever but at least the first impression is amazing. Only time will tell me if that's the best palette knife ever. But uh, like I mentioned, uh, I use the palette knife a lot to mix my color, to clean my palette, to reorganize my palette. So it's very a tool that at some point when you decide that oil painting is your thing, I believe it's a tool that is worth the investment because uh, you keep this palette knife usually for years, uh, maybe a lifetime, depending the the palette knife. So here, the main difference that I see directly with my standard palette knife, I already mentioned again, I already mentioned that in my previous video, but what is important, and they mentioned that on their website, Holbein, what is important is that the blade is made in one element and that here is not welded together, but the blade is one element. The, the knives feel extremely sturdy. There's no problem on that. Uh, I'm going to use it right now. I'm going to show you some color mixing to, to tell you how at least the knife feel at my first impression, at my first use. And yeah, again, the blade is absolutely beautiful. The shape changes a little bit because this shape, I want me, I love this shape with, with the diamond very low. It's like a, called a drop shape also in certain manufacturer. But here the, the, the diamond is very low, the angle here is a little higher because this uh, type of blade with the Holbein, this is, I forgot to mention, but this is Holbein MX series. I know they have another series, but this is the MX series. This is the one I liked. Um, in this series, the blade, if I would have to take this exact shape, uh, the blade was way, uh, was less wide. Uh, and I, I was worried that I will not like that, the blade too thin. So I took this one because the blade was uh, approximately the same uh, width than my uh, standard palette knife that I'm used to. So I didn't want to take the risk to bring back a knife that I will not like. So I took this shape and I hope I made a good decision here, but I, I think it's, it's good. Uh, I'm already in love with that palette knife. Uh, and without further ado, let's uh, do some color mixing to see how I feel about it. Made in Japan. There we go. So directly, the knives clean very good. That's very important for me that the, the, the knives clean very good. Um, with a paper towel. It's beautiful yellow. 
This is a uh, Utrecht white, which is a mix between titanium white and zinc white and mix into uh, cadmium lemon yellow. This gives a beautiful pale yellow. And the knife is extremely enjoyable to work with, extremely enjoyable to hold. The knife is extremely efficient at cleaning the palette. It picks up the paint way better than my other knife. Let's take again this cadmium lemon yellow and let's mix some of the cadmium red light. Gonna give us a beautiful orange. The red light is extremely strong look at this beautiful red orange oh, i feel extremely good uh, manipulating the knife so far yeah no it's it's an amazing knife for sure very efficient to, to clean the palette. I'm not used to that because my standard palette knife doesn't clean the palette uh, that good. So I constantly use my scraper to finish uh, cleaning my palette, which I, I will keep using. But uh, if the palette knife cleans most of the palette, this is always enjoyable to not have to change too. And now we're gonna mix ultramarine blue into the white. And before I mix transparent iron, iron oxide red into the white. So this was transparent iron oxide red. Here is, there we go. I will say that my first impression is absolutely amazing. I'm very, very happy uh, that I was able to purchase that, that palette knife and I hope it's going to last a long time. There we go. So there we go, uh, that was a few color mixing with my new Holbein palette knife. Uh, this is the MX series. Uh, this is the number four in the MX series. Uh, so I'm absolutely amazed after th just this few color mixing, I can directly tell that this is obviously gonna be my main uh, palette knife. I will see in the future if I buy more knife uh, from Holbein because like I mentioned here in the US, they are very expensive, but uh, I will see, I'm very, very happy uh, about this one. I'm very, very happy that uh, this one comes directly from Japan, directly from Tokyo. So uh, this will always be uh, for me, a reminder of my amazing trip uh, to Japan. Uh, I'm absolutely happy and absolutely amazed by the knife. Uh, I feel that it really holds good in the hand. Uh, the knife itself, uh, just the look of it, but the touch, the feel of it, definitely looks, feels and looks premium. That is for sure. Uh, then I will say that I feel here in the US, they are a little bit overpriced. So if you have the occasion to be in Japan uh, or to go to Japan, well, uh, visit an art supply store because I think this is an absolute treat to bring back uh, from Japan and to have it as a memory. And uh, it's a great tool to have in my tool set. So I'm very happy and I'm looking forward uh, to paint some painting and mix some colors with my new palette knife.